Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my Daily Stock Signals video for Tuesday the 12th of February. So let's have a look at a potential uh, signal from our Stock Signals membership where our members get potential fifth wave trades for the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame, both long and short. So this is the, the membership area here uh, in, in the membership area you can select any days because we're, we're looking to help people build watch lists and today we click on the image for long signals for example and download the spreadsheet the spreadsheet looks long and like this for today we have 60 minutes up here and we're I'm looking at Apple basically for 60 minute here uh, as you see at the bottom of the, of the uh, spreadsheet we have the daily and the weekly as well I want to concentrate on setting up just one of these on the 60 minute for Apple so this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform, also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation, and MultiChart. So let's just zoom out a little bit and see where Apple has been intraday. Remember, this is the 60 minute time frame. So we've had this range bound period at one of my big support zones for quite a while. Then we've moved up from it and now we've pulled back. And this is the important phase of an Elliott Wave sequence, that fourth wave. We need to measure that. Uh, and to see if we've got a potential fifth wave move. So let's zoom in here. Again, we're above this big support and resistance zone as well. So we've got some fresh air. One of the things uh, from our stock signals membership is we've got a few filters there. So one of the filters is this wave four pullback against the main trend, hitting one of our automated probability zones. So there we've got green, amber, red, and we've just tipped into the green zone, which is a good sign. Uh, next, that green zone gives us an 85% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone here, around about 178 at the top end there. So uh, that's our automated target zone. Then we look at the performance of that wave four. One of the things we measure is the 535 oscillator. So as you can see on the, the highest point of the wave three is up here on the left, this middle sub chart. And then the pullback during this wave four is between 19 and 140% uh, in those parameters right now, looking pretty good. And then the stochastic. The stochastic has false breakouts at the top. So these are the, these yellow lines denoting a really strong bullish trend. When it crosses over against that in the oversold zone, the likelihood is it wants to return. Now, let's have a look at the price action for yesterday. When yesterday in the markets was pretty poor, okay, we're in a two, in a really tight range, wasn't really going anywhere. So we got the <clears throat> the gap up on Apple to uh, around about 171.18, and then we moved down and retraced some of that. Um, we're pretty much closed near the low of the day, but it was a very low volume day. Uh, no real price action anywhere in the market. So at, th at this moment in time, I'm making my video during the early part of the European session. And we have uh, the futures of, uh, way above the close of yesterday. So potentially we could have a bullish day today. Uh, we're looking at an intraday swing. So what that means is we're on the 60 minute time frame and we usually would say 20 candles uh, to reach the fifth wave uh, trade. So, you know, we, we're talking around about three days or so. So this is Tuesday in the week. Uh, we've got plenty of time uh, if this moves up today and triggers for it to uh, attempt to reach our target with the previous wave three is always going to be resistance level there. Um, but that's uh, the risk reward there is around 1 to 1.4. So still a decent risk reward to that sort of position. Um, but we've, we've got to be in it to win it. We've got to set these up. Uh, we've got a great setup. The wave force hit good support. Yesterday's flat stroke negative session didn't get a new low. So we got the higher low yesterday. We got the higher high. All in all, price action wise, we're looking pretty good. Everything stands out on the oscillator, the stochastic. Um, we're, we're just ready to go. So we've got to set up the entry above yesterday's high. So my entry is 171.33. Uh, we need to go a little bit below the wave four um, pivot point here for the stop loss, 168.23. And then the target zone really is around about $178. And that's a risk reward of one to two. So a potential reward of 200% timed risk. Uh, for this um, swing trade on Apple. So very, very simple setup came from our stock signals membership, used our Elliott Wave indicator suite for the Think or Swim 
platform just to uh, confirm those particular parameters on this pullback look for a good entry and away we go so that's it for today have a great trading day speak to you all tomorrow